This is my purple delight that I have harvested about a week ago. Look, got wet by the rain. It's been drying off in here for the whole week. But now the weather is warming up, so I think we got 26 degrees today. So it's time for me to put this in the garden along with a couple of other plants that I just bought. So this is a Sinocrasilla. I don't know the ID, exact ID yet, but this needs to go in the garden. So I'm not even gonna try and see, find out how hardy they are. I'm just gonna stick them straight into my garden. There you go, so that way saves me doing things twice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So I am in my garden now where my crane is and where the crane is I would like to put a nice feature plant in this spot here so in this area here so something nice and big and in your face so I'm planning to put my Frank Reynolds in that spot but around it I'm putting my Sinocrasula so this is my Frank Reynolds here which is not very colorful at the moment. So I pulled this out from a big pot that's been growing uh, in the backyard. So there's plenty of roots. And there you go. Now, ooh. Okay, there's babies. You have how many babies? You got a couple of babies. So there's one here and also another one here. And look at all of them at the back. A one, two, three, four. Oh, another one. I like the satellite babies. The satellite babies are the ones that sort of extends out. Like they have a little stick that they grow out of. And then this is just normally clustering babies underneath here. Those ones get misshapen and looks ugly <laughs> when they grow up. Hang on. This has got a weed. I have to take my tuisa to remove this and what I use for my soil in the garden uh, basically the soil that or where the succulents have been planted in so this is the beauty of planting them in pots ready so because it already came with the soil so all i have to do is just dig up a hole there and then stick it in i'm gonna use my little dooby lucky to loosen up the plant Put a little bit of Simongus fertilizer around there and you're going to make it easy for me. Also, there's a few dry leaves here. I'm going to, oh, another baby hiding there. And another baby. Look at that, huh? Hang on, I'll show you. I'll just pull this off. You see, babies over there, that white one. And also on the opposite side, see that one there. 
So there's probably a couple more in there, but anyway, that's good enough. Now I'll just put her into the hole. Hang on, there's dry leaves. This is very frost hardy, so she can stay out. And, okay, there's more resistance from the bottom, but that's okay. It's understandable, and I'm just going to rip out all the roots. Yep, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, remove some more dry leaves or rotting leaves. It's a bit of a one leaf sort of root rotted and mushy. Look at that, mushy mushy. But the rest, oh another baby. There you go, two babies. And do you have another one? Yes, another baby. Okay, that's okay. I'm not gonna show you. I'll just plunk this over there, remove the roots, all done, see I just half, that's fine, Just remove a baby. Might as well. And I'm just gonna use the dirt from this pot to cover up the base of that one. Tip it all out. So essentially I'm using the same soil that has been growing in. And that's it. And then now the little baby, we're gonna put it on the side here. Or maybe under the crane be good. And some sedum. I'm just gonna throw that in there. If it grows, it grows. I have this Malva Moscata Rosea that died, so a new plant. I'm not gonna pull it all off. I'm gonna leave it, just give it a chance to grow. Maybe just doesn't like whatever. So that's fine. If she's gonna grow, she's gonna grow, but I'm gonna put my Sinocrasula all around here. I'll still leave the Malva over there. It's getting warm. So I'm putting one here, which is more in the open. And then the other one because this is like a different variety. I'm gonna put it on the opposite side here where my Biden's is. So over on this side. So I'm doing a division of labor. The soil I've already prepped earlier, 
So now I'm going to take this out. And stick it all in. Oops, don't want to grab my other plants there. There you go, and that's all there is to it. So that Sinocrasula there, by next year, that will just fill up that whole area. And same with the Frank Reynolds here. And so as the other Sinocrasula indica, probably this one. That's just going to fill up that area. Well, not fill up, but it'll be thicker and may, hopefully it will grow this way. Now this area is slowly filling up. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It will be a beautiful garden once these babies grow. Okay, on to the next one. And as far as my plate of purple delight, <laughs> I am going, because this is all still cuttings and still babies. I am putting it over there so you notice that it's being protected it's out in the open but this is now getting afternoon Sun so it doesn't get morning Sun it will get midday Sun and no afternoon Sun so that spot there will be nice and shady it can just grow out and crawl out to the Sun if it wants to but oh the bees are everywhere I don't know if I can even get in there so <laughs> but I'm just planting them there so that's a spot I'm picking so let's go over there okay so in that corner where it's all protected this is where I'm gonna plant you any weeds we have to pull out because that's just gonna cause us a lot of trouble later on saves us pulling it out doing things twice and I'm just stirring up this area which I already prepped area earlier the soil is all nicely uh, loose and I've already mixed in some granite in it as well so this one is just a matter of plonking it there and tomorrow we're getting 28 degrees today we had 26 degrees Celsius but these plants will be happy just being here there's no drama no whatever the more they're used to being exposed to the Sun the better they are or the better they will be you get stronger plants they might experience light burning tomorrow but they'll get over it <laughs> they might get scalded but they get over it but anyway so once they get thick it will be gorgeous and then I'll have an equal area of purple delight that's growing now, the really small ones, I'm just going to tuck it in the, so like tiny ones like this, this is just going to get hidden somewhere. Because you can always pull it out and move it somewhere else. Even the leaf one, I'm just going to tuck it under this uh, flower here. I forgot your name. Calibra Chowa, that's it. Uh, little sort of seedlings look small, tiny, barely got any root. So we'll hide it over here. As long as it touches the ground or the soil, that's fine. That's it. They will take root. Or even that one's in the open. And some of the leaves, I'll just throw it in there. Another little baby one with tiny root, we'll hide it here. Now, same time next year, you won't even see a patch of dirt on that one. It'll just be all covered up with purple delight. How delightful.
so anyway guys that's all for this video and I still have my bumblebee to fill up so this pot here I'm still contemplating three bumblebees and the sun shining on it so it's really hard to see there you go so um, I don't know what I'm gonna put in there I'll see maybe some agave I was gonna put some spiky ones but I still don't know we'll wait and see oh anyway oh look you're flowering look gorgeous gorgeous cute okay guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video and I'm just gonna clean up my mess